What's up guys? Welcome back to the Trigger's Life. I'm Jorge Navarro. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you've already been subscribed, welcome back guys. And um, yeah, I'm in Charlotte. It's time to get out of this truck. So I'm out of here. My hands are tied. And you resonate inside my bones. Don't know why. I'm incapable while you're unstoppable. got through doing the live with you guys i really appreciate everybody that participated in that live i had a blast you guys got me in a better mood i really do appreciate all that and uh yeah so let's make a video today let's uh let's talk a little bit about this bike let's talk a little bit more about this bike because um there are some things that now little by little i'm starting to uh, like more and dislike so one of the things that I, okay, let's let's answer a couple questions first. Let's answer a couple questions. I've had I've had two questions on, um, does the uh, seat does the the seat and the, and the handlebars go up and down? And yes, they do. Um, so let me turn you all around and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, just so you guys can see that it has this it has these numbers right here. Okay. So you have these different numbers and these are your different levels that you can put that you can put the uh the handlebar on so all you have to do is you open this up right here and then you can adjust it up and down okay so yes on that can you raise these yes you can two you can also do the same thing with the seat and it's actually pretty dang deep it'll come it comes down all the way down here so it actually raises up quite high so somebody check out that motorcycle so somebody that is actually tall I, I've, I've heard like on the uh, website on electric website i mean not website on the electric forums that, that i'm a part of they uh, actually there's people that are like uh six two six three that ride this bike comfortably um i am I am 5'10 and 5'10 on a good day yeah I'm 5'10 <laughs> and I'm 300 pounds so this thing is actually um, perfect I mean it, it, it handles me just fine it does struggle a little bit on the steep hills but you know with 300 pounds and it's rated for less yeah that's why but anyways it's uh that's so those things let's let's address that those things I do like now let's talk about what i don't like so some of the things that i don't like about this bike is there's a few there's a few things that i don't like about it one is the way this the way these uh um, the way these things pop up like that okay whenever you're trying to put it back it's it's very especially this side this side is very finicky and you have to really kind of I mean, it gets to the point where it doesn't even want to move. And it's supposed to push in and come down very easy. So it's not even doing it right now. But I'll get it, I'll get it here in a little bit. Okay. I like that. Another thing I don't like is whenever this, if your handle, if, if not your handle, but if your uh, pedals are up like this and you close it, you end up taking out your key. And as you can tell, I've already bent the key. So so that's you know whenever it closes whenever it closes you end up you you can you know mess up the the key with that another thing i don't like about this bike is the headlight the headlight is very unusable you can't even use that i tried the other day i was in a real dark area and it did nothing it, it was it was terrible 
so that needs to be changed i have this light here for now and i have this other light but i need to find a way to fasten it a little better because that's not going to work okay so that i don't like another thing is when you fold this thing down you end up putting these little scratches see this little scratch right here this is all because of the way the handlebars come down on that scratch and when you get your bike if you get it new you're not going to get it with this this seat you're going to get it with a uh it's a very very hard very uncomfortable seat so i do recommend this seat right here and uh just because it has this nice spring system so that works pretty good and you're gonna probably it depends i mean it depends on yourself you're gonna probably want to change your uh free will i changed it already it's already been changed so it's easier to be able to get to higher speeds because it goes down lower and you're able to get gain those those higher speeds because i was to the point where i had to pedal super fast and super hard to be able to even get it up to like 25 miles an hour i know one somebody mentioned that just by spinning the the, the wheel freely um you can get it up to speed well you kind of need that resistance because it kind of gets redundant you're just sitting there just going you know spinning your wheels over i mean your pedals over and over again so with that with that free wheel change it actually helped it where i'm actually feeling like i'm doing some type of exercise helping the bike move forward and it's also um going faster up to 20 i got it up to 28 point to 28 miles an hour uh well actually 27.8 or something like that. that's the fastest i've been able to get it but which is way faster than it was with the old free wheel so those are the things the main things that i don't like another one is the brakes the brakes you have to adjust them every so often i want to get the hydraulic brakes there's a hydraulic braking system that's kind of inexpensive about 50 dollars and i'm thinking about getting to uh, putting on this bike to assist the brakes because you have to adjust them every so often and it's just getting annoying that you have to do that so much but those are the negatives but the positives are this thing is super fun to ride super fun to ride all that negative that i just mentioned outweighs is outweighed by just the fun that it is to ride and the price the price that this thing is Guys, I don't have any other any, anything else to compare to because I haven't tried any of the other ones. But if you want to go out and spend a little bit more money, of course, you're going to get a little more quality. But for $899, what you get is pretty amazing. And I'm really enjoying this bike. So there's a lot of negatives that need to be addressed. You can get them done. But once that's all said and done, what you get at the end is a great, great product. It's fun to ride. And you just get out get out and get away from your truck and go explore the city the the towns that you're in and just go have a good time so that's what i love about this bike it, being able to get out the mobility to be able to get out have fun and uh, go see the town and hang out and meet different people is what is amazing now things that i've added on this bike so let's talk about things that i've added on this bike so what i've added is basically lighting i've added more lighting let me light let me light everything up here I like that one. I like that particular one right there. Got lighting there. Got lighting underneath here. Hold that. Got lighting there. Got lighting right here. Got lighting. So this one got lights there as well. And of course, the lights that it comes with. So hold that right there. And there's that light there. And the lights that it comes with. Plus, I've also added these little lights that turn blue so those are the, the light as far as lighting if, if if somebody doesn't see me with all them lights they need to wear some more glasses or they need to go get some glasses um also have added this uh bar this little bar right here it's like 20 bucks that way you can mount different stuff like this your gopro um of course the of course the free wheel done that i've uh lined the inner tube from the inside and also a lining on the outside of the wheel what else have we done of course the seat but so far that's what we've done to it there's more things to do i kind of want to do a wrap just to eliminate the name and uh i think that's about it as far as what things that i want to do with it but i'm gonna go 
I mean, I've really, really enjoyed this bike. I'm going to keep on riding around and have a little more fun, guys. Um, if you have any more questions about this bike, just leave the comment down below, and I'll be happy to answer them. But right now, I'm just going to go get, get out there and have some more fun, be safe. And uh, guys, thank you guys for joining me once again. Don't forget to help anybody needs help. Anybody contemplating suicide, 1-800-273-8255. Military men and women, thank you so much for your service. See you guys on the next video. Peace. I'm out of here.